Students at the University of South Alabama are speaking out following the announcement that employees will undergo more diversity training there. Some students were outraged after the former dean of the business school was seen in a picture wearing a Confederate costume. Two other professors were holding a noose. NBC 15's Rachel Wilkerson was on campus today and has reaction to the diversity training. It's kind of like being swept under the rug as we speak, and I don't like that. Tension is still high on the University of South Alabama as three professors are under investigation for this viral photo. Three weeks ago, students protested and were asked to submit ideas on how to implement better policies. Two weeks ago, the university announced it was beefing up diversity and inclusion training. Diversity officers will be in each college and a job opening was listed for a chief diversity officer. Surveys were sent out and a committee is supposed to be formed by the end of this month to go over the ideas. I appreciate that the university isn't ignoring anything and that students do have a voice that's actually something's being done about it. While some students are happy with this announcement, others feel the professors should be fired and reoccurring checks on professors' social media pages should be implemented. We have to take baby steps. Um, I'm glad that people are taking the effort somewhat, but I don't personally think that's enough. How many, you know, professors do they need to retrain to tell them, you know, this, <laughs> you know, this isn't okay, you know, how, how deep is the root of the issue? It feels like they're taking a half step and not a full step. University President Tony Waldrop told the students, quote, we can do more and we will. A university spokesperson says Waldrop has met with students several times since the photos came to light and will continue to do so. Rachel Wilkerson, NBC 15 News. A private investigator is looking into it. If you want to submit a suggestion to the university, we've posted how you can do that on our website, myNBC15.com.